Konnichiwa, shall we go? So I haven't ranted for a while because I didn't have anything to rant about. And then I tried making thumbnails on my mom's computer and it was just, she won't let me use paint.net. And that's what I usually use for thumbnails and I have to use paint. It's the worst image editor in existence. Because everything you import has to be a rectangle. Oh, you're trying to import a person? Is that person a rectangle? No. Well, then your image is gonna suck. Um, if you want to erase, there's no layers either. So if you want to erase something, it's like, oh, let's just erase the, like, let's say you're superimposing something. And there's this background that you don't want there, but you don't want to accidentally, like, just, you don't want to mess up the rest of your picture with, because it's not a solid color. <laughs> oh, too bad. Now there's nothing there. Because you can't, why can't you layer? It's so, every other image editor in existence lets you layer. Um, and then, if you want to select something, you've got two options. Rectangle, which, as I discussed earlier, sucks. Or freeform select, which you have to go extremely slowly, because if you move in just a pixel, it's like, nope, you screwed up your image, now you have to start all over again. Um, and, let's see. There's also that little thing about how it unselects every time you click anything on the screen. Oh, you like I, I will zoom in on my thumbnail to select something with the stupid rectangle select because I don't have any other options. And then it's just like, oh, uh, 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 I'll try to zoom out so I can actually move it around the thumbnail. And it's like, nope, unselected. And there's so many things that are god awful about that. You can't set tolerance for the fill tool, which means you, if you import a picture from the internet and it's not because every picture on the internet magically turns into a JPEG in paint, if you save an image from the internet on, as a PNG and then Im open it in paint.net, it's a PNG, which means all the original pixels are the right color. If you try to open up that PNG in paint, it'll say PNG, but it's just like random shades that weren't there before. And you have to fill tool one pixel at a time, which is the most annoying process ever. And let's see, what else is there that's wrong? What isn't there that's wrong? Um, you can't blend well on paint because the closest thing you have to a gradient in paint is the spray paint tool. And it's just like, all right, let's just the dots all over the place. Yay. Oh, you're trying to blend this red with orange? Got, it's the color right in between. Orange on the other side of the screen. What? What are you going to do about it? Uh, it's just, why paint? Microsoft, why would you do this to us? That program should not even be included with computers. Um, what else is there? How about the fact that in the new version of Paint, the newest version, and they had this in older versions, but for some reason with the newest update, they're like, hmm, let's take out the one thing that's actually standard about this. If you hold down shift and click and drag to resize, it's supposed to keep the aspect ratio. Works in everything else. And then I do it in Paint, and it messes up the aspect ratio. Either, it doesn't try to maintain aspect ratio, or it fits it to a square. It's like, oh, you've got a person? Let's make them short and fat. Why not, paint? Um, sorry, I just, paint has made my thumbnail making a living hell. Um, which is why I have so many weird backgrounds. The battle block meter, the people in the bottom right are just all always in a weird, Obviously photoshopped background because I can't blend. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, like and subscribe buttons are just click them. If you have a similar situation with paint, or if you have something that you feel, or if you have something you feel is rant worthy, post it in the comments. I need 15. Sign up, Shogun. I need 15.